Hey guys, it's Landon Blake from Redefine Horizons, and this is the second video in the set of videos that I'm recording on management of land development projects, and specifically doing that management using Airtable, and then I, we're going to do a Trello video too, I think. So in the first video, we went in, set up our first couple of tables in our base, and um, I added the, the first four records in the main, uh, the main table. And then I showed you guys how to, to set up some different views here, right? These are different grid views, so you can come in here and look at just final maps or just the maps that are in for the first check or just the small lot, small lot maps. Um, so those are kind of like uh, views or, or queries in a traditional SQL database. <clears throat> so what I wanted to do in this video is show you a different kind of view. It's called a Kanban view. And then show you how you can link tables together and then finally show you how you can use the uh, page designer, uh, which is like a really simple report generator, and you can use that to show linked records, okay? So uh, let's start with the Kanban view. So uh, you can make a new Kanban view right down here. Um, I've already made one, so let's go ahead and click that. I'm actually gonna rename it, and I'm gonna call this map status. That's the name of the view. And uh, when you create your Kanban view, you're gonna choose a field to base it on. And so like, I base this Kanban view on the map status uh, uh, field or, or column. And you can see what it does is it, is it takes your records and it sorts them uh, onto a Kanban board, uh, which looks kind of like Trello, which is kind of cool. So now you can see the projects that you have on each uh, in each phase, okay? Each, uh, so in this case, it's each phase of the map status. You can see that. So you can see if I've got a few over here. Right, I got one on, in concept, one I'm waiting to submit the T-map. Uh, I've got two that are in for the tentative map check. And then, man, I got a bunch of final final maps that I need to get submitted. <laughs> so uh, anyways, this is kind of cool. It's a, it's a Trello-like view on your data. So I wanted to show you guys how that worked. And then um, the other thing I wanted to show you was how you can link, uh, you can link tables, uh, link records in a new table. So I'm going to go back to main view here. Now you'll notice in the main view I deleted the note, um, I deleted the note column, and I added this. Oh, I didn't delete it; it's still there. So let's get rid of it. But I added this. Um, I added this column called Surveyor Notes. Okay, and this is a special kind of column. It's called a lookup column. Okay, so you can add a new column, and it's linked to another record. It's called a lookup column, and it actually links to records in another table. Okay. And so I, I made a new table called Surveyor Notes. Okay, I just gave uh, the date and the name of the surveyor making the note. Then the actual note itself goes in the note field. And then right here, I've got a, a, a field where I can link to the note. So let's just add a new one so you can see how that works. So I'm going to say uh, this is the 19th. And I'm adding a new note. And I'm going to just say this is an example note for the training video. Okay. Now this is really important. I want to link that to a subdivision. So I'm going to go ahead and put it on the first one here, South Point West. Okay. Now as soon as I do that, you'll see there's a new record now in, uh, in Surveyor Notes. There will be a new record Okay, linked here. So it links both ways. Okay. Now you might think to yourself, well, whoop-de-doo, what's the big deal about that? That's pretty cool. It's like a, a join in a regular SQL database. Now it's not very helpful here right just just to see this stuff isn't helpful uh, but it's somewhat helpful here because you can you can filter and sort by this list and then look at all your notes but again this is a little bit clunky you can't read the notes uh, the, the entire note um, you know unless you drag this way out and, and even that gets a little bit clunky um, but there's a cool app called uh, page designer so if you come over here to apps uh, so you can see I have my page designer uh, app set up and I'm just going to go in and edit the layout that I have made and so I've made a I made a layout here um, and you can filter that by your different views, uh, but I've got a layout here, and uh, so this is just the the name of the subdivision, and then I went in, this is static text, and then these are the actual fields that I've dropped in, so those will change as you advance each record, okay? So this is kind of like Jasper Reports or Crystal Reports, very simplified version of that. Uh, but, but part of what I wanted to show you was on, on this rec first record here is I've actually made a link um, sorry, I've, I've dragged in the, the, the what they call the lookup field, the join the, the field that we use to join those two tables, and then I did some configuring here, 
and now you can actually see um, you can see the notes uh, all on one sheet here. So these are all the individual notes that I've made um, for that particular uh, for that particular record, uh, which is pretty cool. And again, this this is super simple. Uh, you can't do a lot here. Um, you know, you, there's no way to add lines. Um, you know, I haven't figured out how to uh, change this column width. <laughs> I don't know if we can do that. If we go, yeah, that's not really what I want. Um, you know, so so it is somewhat limited, uh, but you know, it's uh, more than you can do in an Excel spreadsheet uh, for sure. Um, and you can, uh, speaking of ex Excel spreadsheets, you can you can also um, export this. Uh, you can export your your uh, table to uh, to Excel or CSV if you wanted to do that. So anyways, I just wanted to show you that that's kind of cool. If you go into the page designer, um, you can um, show all the information from a link table, which is which is pretty handy. And you can see why that that might be useful in this situation. And then um, we can easily print this. Um, so I'm going to save it to PDF. Um, OK, so this is going to be plan dev project report. And then we can open that up. And you can see, here's our report, right? It's got all the notes listed. You can easily uh, just print that out, and that's a PDF. So uh, kind of handy. Um, I don't know if you can do different views. Um, I, think it, I think it only lets you do, I don't know if it'll let us do another one. Um, yep, it looks like it will do another one. So you could actually have a different layout. Um, you could have more than one page layout depending on the information you wanted. Uh, so that's pretty cool. I didn't know you could do that. Um, now I got to figure out how I delete it. Uh, is it in here? Uh, done. Nope. I just want to get rid of it now and I don't know how to do that. Hmm. Delete app. There you go. Um, so, anyways, and there's all kinds of other cool apps. Um, so, let me just show you one more since I got a few minutes left in the video. We're going to go ahead and add a. Uh, there should be a way to add a location here. And yeah, maybe we have to add the map first. Let's try that. So, they should have a mapping app. I think I've done another video on that, but I can't remember. Maybe it was trouble. Yeah, so we're gonna put in, we're gonna add the map app. Okay, and so uh, oh, we gotta get a Google API key. Oh man, I don't know if I want to go through all that drama. We probably won't do that because um, that's a pain in the butt. But if you want to go through that trouble, there is a way to get a map view. Um, anyways, there's all kinds of other cool apps you can just. Click on apps here. You can do uh, scripting, you know, things like with triggers and stuff. Um, uh, there's there's, just, there's so much stuff on here. Cool stuff gets added all the time. So uh, very handy. I, I need to learn some more. I'd love to learn a little bit of scripting, do some scripting too. But uh, that'll give you guys a rough idea of what you can do. So uh, anyways, appreciate you watching. And uh, we'll do at least one more video um, on, on this management of land development projects. We'll, uh, we're going to go ahead and... Uh, Go in and, and set up a board in Trello that you could use to, to track these same projects because I think that'll be handy. And Trello has some advantages over Airtable. They're di they're different. There's there's pros and cons of each one, uh, but I want to be able to show you guys that. All right. So thanks for watching. Appreciate it, guys, and uh, hopefully we we get you on the next video.